hi guys welcome or welcome back to the channel i am so excited you guys tuned in today and i cannot wait to share with you guys what i am doing for today's video so if you didn't see which i don't know how i'm going to edit this but i may put like a little snippet in the beginning of what i'm doing but if i did not it's here now so today we are reading wait upside down we are reading the series by tessa bailey i don't even know if they're a part of a series technically or if they're just you know if they just you know go together i don't know um i know they're about two sisters though two different sisters and i think this one comes first hopefully this one comes first this is the one we're gonna start with um but yes i this is look i am getting tongue tied already but these are my two books that i am going to focus on over the weekend so hopefully i can finish this one by tomorrow and then i can hopefully finish this one by monday maybe lucky if i get it done sunday um but yeah we're gonna start i'm gonna go ahead and put my headphones on find me a good playlist um i'm actually i always go on spotify and try to find one so let's see i'm actually really liking the lighting too in my room like you guys are like right in front of my window and i really like it this is like the one room where it like works that way every other room is like on the side of me <laughs> but let's see so we're gonna find it happened one summer found one and well a lot came up okay i'm gonna do this one i think found this one here can you guys see it if not i'll put it in the thing i'll put both playlists that i listen to for both books down there so you guys can listen to it if you guys are planning to read the books um but if you guys plan to read the books hopefully we can read them together y'all go grab y'all book go grab y'all headphones whatever you need to make you comfortable while reading and we are going to get started already got some tabs i got my pen um and i don't think i'm gonna use a highlighter but yeah let's start and i'll probably update you guys once i like hit the 50 or 100 page mark like i did in my last video um so yeah i will see you guys reading let's let's get to it <laughs> So, time for an update. I am 66 pages in and I am currently on chapter 8. It's a little bit later. I've showered and stuff, ready for bed. So, I'm going to try to at least read to 100 pages tonight. If I can get to 150, that would be amazing. Um, the book is only right at like 400 pages. So, hopefully 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 i can finish it tomorrow um but so far it is good um it's basically um this how old is she like 28 29 her name's piper um and she doesn't really do anything in life she's always grown up since she was four years old um she's grown up in like a wealthy household her stepdad um has basically provided for her all her life and she doesn't need she does something um she ends up like basically throwing this huge party and it just really does not go well um and so once her stepdad finds out about it he decides to send her to 
um, the town that she grew up in that her dad actually owns like a place there. Her dad is past, so it's like her late dad is not there anymore. Um, and they, since she was four years old, she's never been there. So she doesn't really remember anything about her dad. She doesn't know anything about this town. It's like a fisherman's town. Um, and so, you know, yeah, so you have a rich girl that's trying to adjust to this like fisher town where no one there is like rich. So, um, it's super interesting and it's just like a cute little like read so far. Um, Tessa Bailey, her books, I've only read one of her other books so far, but I really like her writing style. It's super cool to just like read and like chill. It doesn't like take too much emotion, too much stress. <laughs> so, um, yes, yeah, I'm at the part she's like just met. Well, she didn't just meet Brendan. Is that how you say his name? Brendan. Brendan. Um, but that's Brendan here and he is obviously the love interest. Um, and so they have met a few times and I think it's about to get interesting. You know, I, I think it's very about to, it's about to get really interesting. So I will keep you guys updated. Um, I may, if I hit 150 pages tonight, I will definitely update tonight. But if not, I will update you guys tomorrow before I start reading again. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next update. guys oh my gosh it is so much sorry i just got the shower so hopefully my hair is not too crazy but um it is much 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 later um it is 10 33 um sat on saturday so i started this video on friday and I'm just now finally getting back to reading. Had a pretty busy day, spent some time with family and friends. Um, but last night, I did actually get up to 228 pages. So I am finally, I would say more, slightly over halfway or right at halfway. It's like 400 pages. So I'm like, you know, maybe like 55% into the book. Um, but I just finished the uh, hospital scene and y'all I've been thinking about this book all day I'm so ready to get to it hopefully I don't know if I'll be able to finish it tonight like my original plan was like if I didn't stay out as late as I did um so I'm at least gonna try to get to 300 pages so that puts me like I have like 75 pages hopefully I can get through that tonight and then tomorrow morning hopefully i can get the last hundred so then tomorrow evening i can start um hook line sinker but so far i am truly loving this i love this little world this west westport washington world y'all i'm about to start googling westport washington and see if i can go take a trip there um 
but yes oh my gosh and then brendan let we'll talk about it all at the end but yes like i said i am loving it um i can definitely see this possibly being five stars y'all like it's such a light read and it's so like i just love tessa bailey's writing like her writing is so like so fresh and just so like uh you just it's so easy to just get through and i'm really enjoying it so like i said i'm gonna try to get to 300 pages tonight i can already tell y'all right now i'm gonna have to update y'all tomorrow because by the time i finish reading that i'm not gonna want to say words it's gonna be too late i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be able to physically say words so um let's continue reading and i will see you guys in the morning hopefully letting you guys know i did hit 300 pages tonight because i'm a little tired so we'll see but i will see you guys <laughs> It is much later it is sunday 6 54 and the last time i updated you guys was last night at like 10 something i think um hold on let me get the book i have not read it all today i have been super busy i just actually got home and showered and if you're wondering what i'm wearing i put on my od fresh out the shower guys it is so freaking comfortable it's actually cold in here surprisingly and it's so hot outside so like i have my pajamas and i have my odie on um but yes guys i freaking love this odie it has a hood and you guys should definitely get one if you do want one use my code jasmine sierra 35 for a discount on your odie um but yeah this is like I, I love wearing this thing when i'm like super duper like in my reading mode like it's just perfect um but to the book so last night i only made it to 280 pages so i'm gonna really try to finish it tonight because i have like 130 something pages and my plan was to start hook line and sinker but it depends on how late i take finishing this because you know i do gotta go to work tomorrow so um this video is gonna be a little longer because now it's probably gonna stretch out through probably at least like wednesday because Maybe Tuesday, depending on how long it takes me to read Hook, Line, and Sinker. And if I get to start it tonight. If I get started tonight, I can probably finish it by Tuesday. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to start this. And, like I said, hopefully, hopefully I can get there, you know. But I am, like, super duper, like, super duper really enjoying. <laughs> I am super duper excited to continue this book that's what i want to say i'm really enjoying it guys like as i keep saying brendan like tessa bailey what are you doing to me like why am i thinking about fishermen now i actually went to brunch in this place like where they have boats is like a waterfront and i just was like dang do i want to get on the boat now like do i need to find me a boat captain you know you gotta live our we gotta live our book fantasies out guys so um yes we're gonna get comfy and we're gonna start reading got some food on the way and yeah so i will see you guys hopefully i'll probably update you guys like once i get like 350 you know right before i hit the end of the book so yeah
guys. I finished. I finished. Oh my goodness. 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 Y'all, if y'all can't tell, I am like super cozy right now. Like I didn't have my hood up on my OD. Like my hair is just I've been comfortable though, y'all. I've been snuggled up on my couch and I finished this book and oh my goodness these two are so freaking cute like now i'm not gonna lie the ending man i i wish like the epilogue we got was only like one week later like from like where the book ended and i'm like dang it can we read like an extended epilogue like there's a bonus scene but it only like it's all about the sister and her love interest i guess you can call it um and I'm just like, please, can we get an extended epilogue? Like, I'm about to go down a Google rabbit hole and see if there's more. Because I'm just like, uh, oh. in the epilogue, they started talking about something. I'm like, does it happen? What happens? Like, oh, I just need to know. I need to know. I need to know. And so hopefully, I'm hoping it gets covered in hook, line, and sinker. Because from the bonus thing, it starts from when they met. And so that's also a timeline like in the beginning of the book. Hopefully, I'm really hoping that it doesn't just cover the exact same timeline because I'm like, okay, I've already read through this once. I don't want to read through it again. Like, can it pick up to like where it ended with her and the male character? So I'm just like, but all I know is that I really, 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 I'm literally about to search it now to see if there is an extended epilogue because y'all, it just uh it was so cute it doesn't look like there's one if you guys know if there's one let me know in the comments because i need to know hopefully once i read hook line and sinker though hopefully like i said hopefully these characters pop up i find it hard to believe they're not gonna pop up but like hopefully we get a good chunk of them um because yeah i'm just like I need more of the fishermen. I need more of the fishermen. Um, but with that being said, I know I said I may start hook, line, sinker tonight, but I thought it was on Kindle, but it's not. So, like, I thought it was on Kindle Unlimited. And I'm like, well, do I really want to buy it if I'm going to be going back and forth? So, I think I'm just going to call it a night. I have been reading by a thread, so I may lay in bed and read that one. Um, and then, like I said, start hook, line, and sinker tomorrow. I may try to start it on my lunch break because I'm like super ready to like read it. I'm like so ready to just start it. So with that being said though, I'm just gonna say good night to you guys, even though you know, if you're watching this at night, good night. Um, <laughs> but I will see you guys in the morning and we will start hook, line, and sinker. Oh, I didn't give a rating. I think I'm, I think I am at like a four star. I think I'm leaning towards four stars. It's not five star but it has potential to be like 4.25 4.5 but right now i think i'm i'm pretty solid at a four star like i think i'm like pretty happy with that rating but we'll see once i sleep on it we'll see how i feel but right now we're gonna go with four stars so i will see you guys in the morning Hi guys um so it is monday and well monday evening i already finished work i went to the gym and now i have hit the point where it is time to relax and read my book and so i believe yeah we i updated you guys last night we finished um it happened one summer and I gave, I think I'm going to stick with four stars. Um, four stars is what I think I'm going to give it. And now it is finally time to start hook, line, and sinker. I am so sorry, guys. The blinds are just like, the sun is like setting. So now it's just like really like this is, you know, it's that time. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start it tonight. And let's see how many pages. I think it's a little shorter. Oh, it's right, like, right, well, yeah, it looks like it's actually a little shorter. Then it happened one summer because it happened one summer was close to like 400. This one is 350. So I want to try to at least do 100 pages tonight. 
I honestly <laughs> don't know. It's already about to be 7 o'clock, so we will see. Um, but yeah, we're going to start it. Super excited. Um, yeah, that's, that's really all I got to say, guys. I'm just about to go ahead and dive into it, and I will update you guys once I... I'll put you guys at 50 pages. Like, I know I'll get to 50 tonight. And then if I keep reading, we'll go, go update tomorrow. This I'm pretty sure now that I won't be finishing this book probably until about Wednesday. So, we got some days. We got some days. So, yes, I'll see you guys, like, you know, soon. <laughs> Okay guys, update. Also, you may hear my fan in the background. I don't know, but I'm the type of person I love to have a fan on. But, okay, update. I have hit 86 pages, so I am on chapter seven. And I will say at first, it took me a minute to get into it because, I don't know, I was just like so stuck on like Piper, Piper's story. And I was like, oh man, I just want more Piper and Brendan. But now, I am really, really loving Hannah and Fox. I am loving it so far. Um, and I'm like, oh, I just got to the part. Um, I'm trying to think how do I not make it a spoiler. But Hannah's, like, film crew production team threw a party. And Fox just came from um, work, you know, from being at sea. And he came into the party. Um, and so, yeah, that's where I'm at so far. I... I'm probably gonna go ahead and call it a night um, and then pick up tomorrow. I don't have plans after work tomorrow except for cooking dinner. So I'm hoping I can get to at least 200 pages tomorrow. And so then Wednesday, hopefully I can do like another 100 maybe um, or 150 to finish the book. We'll see. Um, but yes, so far I'm loving it. It is, I miss, I love this town. I love Westport. I love this Westport town. I love the fact of like crab fishing. Like I don't, I didn't even know that was a thing, honestly. And I went down my Google rabbit hole and it really is like one of the most dangerous jobs. Like it's a real thing. And I was very shook it because I was like, I did not know that. Like, but I guess they do have to fish the crabs, you know, but apparently, you know, regular crabs, it's only king crabs where they have to do that. Regular crabs, they can be land, land grown or something like that. But anyway it just makes it more attractive it's like a dangerous job and it's like these men are like out here doing this but yes um so i will see you guys tomorrow with an update and i love you guys good night <laughs> So it is a little bit later. Oh, my arms are so sore. It is 10 o'clock and I have made it to 200 pages. So I did already eat dinner. Let me like get comfortable because, oh my goodness. Um, oh my gosh, my arms hurt so bad, guys. Um, but yeah, it is, oh, it's so crazy what has happened in just these 50 pages. Like her friendship with fox and she's had a crush in the first and it happened one summer it talks about like the guy she's like always had a crush on and it's just crazy what has happened with like him and now what's happened with fox and yeah i'm just like <laughs> it's not a book that's like making me go like oh my gosh but it's a book that's still making me go oh my gosh like inwardly i i don't know if that makes any sense at all but I'm going to keep reading. Well, 
Y'all, I'm actually kind of tired. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> I got to get up early in the morning. So I may actually stop here. I don't have much to do tomorrow. So I have a little bit more time to read. So I may try to go ahead and finish the last 150 tomorrow. Like, I'm going to finish it tomorrow regardless. There is no way I'm not going to finish this. Whether I wake up early in the morning and read some pages before I log on to work or I read it all in the afternoon. We will see. But I think I'm, like, at a point now where I'm, like, I'm at a stopping point. I'm not itching to like keep reading right now so I think if I'm gonna stop I need to stop now <laughs> and go to sleep so with that being said we will continue tomorrow and see what happens so we're at chapter 15 guys I'm like oh I just these last 50 pages have really just shook it they like shook me like I love Fox guys I love him I love him so much but we will talk tomorrow. It is a little later. I think the last thing I showed you guys, I was like at the 250 mark, I think. I think that's what it was. Um, but, and also you probably hear my fan in the background because Nashville's in raining and the power keeps flicking on and off. So like my air keeps flicking on and off. So I'm like keeping the fan on too, because I'm like, I can't, hopefully it doesn't flick off again <laughs> but um so yeah i am currently at 278 wait can you guys see it S come on and focus there we go so i am yeah chapter 21 so i'm gonna try to finish it today because i am filming my reading wrap up and so i want to be able to include this one and then i'm gonna post this video after i post my reading wrap up so fingers crossed all works out i'm pretty sure i'm going to finish this today now um because i have like maybe 75 pages left so i'm gonna go ahead and knock it out and then we'll you know do our little synopsis of it all so stay tuned So as you guys know, I only had like 70, like five pages left. So I've officially finished. And wait, I have the other one. I actually, I didn't annotate this one, but I did annotate this one. And now I kind of wish I did annotate it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll read it again one day. I really enjoyed it. So I think I already told you guys, but I gave this one a four stars. And this one, I'm going to say four stars as well. Um, I think the only thing that's keeping me from giving it five stars Y'all, I think Fox just kind of really, like, was getting on my nerves a little bit. Like, I, like, love his growth throughout the book. But it was just so, like, so much back and forth, back and forth. Like, about how people perceived him. And, I mean, it was so well written. But, like, if I was Hannah, I would have been like, you know what? Let's just go our separate ways. But, you know, she loved him, so... I I definitely love their story um and I like love the epilogue of 10 years later because then you also get a glimpse of Piper and Brendan and y'all I just could like so like get like a holiday book with these two just like their life and their kids like it was both stories are so good and they're also like they're not similar but they are similar like both of their journeys like of how they ended up in Westport like 
was kind of just like I, it, it was just so like their stories are so similar but so different at the same time and I really liked that like I really did enjoy that aspect like it was like okay like when you read this one like you kind of already know how the town works how the fishermen work like you kind of can already get a glimpse of like how things are going to play out but at the same time it's different too like you know and so and also like that she didn't like in, even though I love Piper and Brittany and I could have so used more of them in this book I really love that she did not like oversaturate the book with that couple she really let this book like really focus on Hannah and Fox um but like I said needless to say four stars for both um and I don't know guys when I think about it like at first I thought I would love Piper and Brendan's story more but I actually really do love Hannah and Fox story but uh I don't know if I had to pick one I would probably choose Piper I'm sorry I just think I have to choose Piper because I love Hannah but like I don't know, Fox was just really making me mad. Fox was really making me mad. Um, and I would just get annoyed very easily with how much back and forth was going until like they finally got to where they got. But um, yeah, I love that they were both happy ever afters. Like I love they were happy endings, which anytime Tessa Bailey writes, like I'm pretty sure all of her books are happy ever afters. Um, but yeah, so, and I didn't like, I didn't cry. It was just like, her, her rom-coms are just so refreshing. Like, they are just like, such like a fresh breath of air. Like, when you read her writing. And it's so easy just to flow through. And I love it. So, I highly do recommend these two. And like I said, the my wrap-up will already be up. But I'm not going to talk too much about these in there. Just because I'm already talking about it in this video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have read these two books and let me know if you had to be one of the sisters. Would you be Hannah or would you be Piper? Which sister would you like to be? Um, but without further ado, I'm going to let you guys go and I thank you for watching and I hope you got to read as well while you watch this. Hopefully we were able to knock out some books together. Um, and yeah, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.